Welcome to the Report for Tucker Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, things are moving fast and furious here in US politics. Apparently Biden is stepping down. We're going to talk about that today on the Report for Tucker Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, news has just come in that uh, Joe Biden is not stepping down from the presidency, but he's stepping down from his uh, election committee. So he is going to throw the Democratic National Convention open, apparently, and that uh, they're going to be able to pick somebody to, um, you know, succeed him and to run against Donald Trump. I mean, things you know, they tried assassinating Donald Trump uh, last week, and now, you know, not, not, not much longer later, they've got rid of Biden. So, you know, obviously the Democrats are panicked, as they should be, um, you know, so I, I really don't know what this means outside of the fact that uh, Sleepy Joe is saying bye-bye. So, um, you know, I mean, obviously, his cognitive decline um, was obvious to everybody in the whole world after the debate, and then he went on stage um, to try and rectify it, and he said things like that Zelensky was, was Putin, and that his vice president was Donald Trump, or it was Camilla Harris, and uh, he said something about fucking someone's wife at, at, the, at some other thing recently. And, you know, he's got so many gaffes, it's ridiculous. And he's done a few one-on-one -on -one interviews with people like Lester Holt. And, you know, it's clear that he's, you know, in, like he was in the debate, that this is no, um, you know, one-off, that he just hadn't had enough sleep, that he is in serious cognitive decline. So I have no idea how he, he thinks he can run for president. And I guess finally the penny has dropped. Um, you know, obviously Obama spoke out recently that um, Biden should step down. That should be, you know, everyone should have realised that was the death knell. Because obviously Biden has probably been, sorry, not Biden, what am I doing? I'm turning into Joe Biden myself. I'm talking about Obama. Obama said that, um, uh, you know, uh, Joe Biden should step down. And um, that's, that's how easy it is, ladies and gentlemen, you know, to make a mistake. When you're under high pressure, maybe Joe ain't so bad after all. But like, um, you know, Obama announced that he thought, um, you know, uh, Joe should stand down. And the rumour has been that Obama has been the secret president. He's the guy who's really been running the show with the, uh, you know, the various Jewish conspirators, uh, you know, who uh, who were involved in the coup in the 2020 election, which is like Blinken, Clay, and Yellen, Mayorkas, Garland, Newland, and all those other nefarious uh, assholes. Some in the Senate, also like Schumer, Schiff, uh, Raskin. Uh, there's a whole, uh, you know, you know, it's like super super villains are real. It's like there's enough to make ten Marvel movies out of that lot, ladies and gentlemen, and they're probably involved in crimes far worse than many of the Marvel villains. So, um, you know, it's extraordinary, and uh, I guess that's it. I mean, Joe Biden, I mean, uh, we hardly knew you because you probably don't know yourself. I mean, outside of the fact that his family was criminal, his son was a notorious drug addict. I mean, apparently his son had been sitting in on, on meetings recently. I mean, this is somebody who's so, he's clearly compromised by China, uh, and he's um, a major drug addict. It's utterly ridiculous that America is in this situation. Obviously, America needs Donald Trump back desperately, and um, as long as they can keep Donald Trump alive, hopefully they will, but they're uh, shuffling the decks on the Titanic. And I guess we're going to sit around and find out here at the report we're talking about.